say it. Yeah, which will end up being zero. It's equal to zero in this case because it is an equilibrium. And then our last equation. Normal sub phi uh, minus weight sub phi cosine 30 degrees equals non sub phi sub phi acceleration zero. So we have our equations of motion. Questions up to here. All of these equal zero. They all equal zero because it is an equilibrium. All right, the first S, substitution. Do we have an independent equation for any of the things on here? An independent, you said? Yeah, that is not problem specific. Wait, so what do you mean by independent equation? As in, do we have an equation for tension that is all is true? The answer is no. Do we have an equation for weight that is always true? Yeah. Um, if it's on Earth, then yes. What? Even not on Earth. What is the formula for weight? Um, gravity. gravity. Sorry? What? Yeah, it's gravity, gravity times, times it's little g. The little g, isn't that gravity? Force of gravity. Oh, a force of gravity. Here. Sorry. We're looking for this tiny thing. So what's the formula? Mg. Mg. <laughs> what does this little g stand for? Force, force of gravity. No. Weight is the force of gravity. Thus, the, the acceleration should be the gravity. There we go. Alright, so we do the substitution. So I have m3g sine theta 3 minus the tension equals 0. Uh, and then tension minus m5g sine of 30 degrees is equal to zero. All I did was take those two. I know that without friction and without any movement in the direction of the normal force, uh, these two equations are not going to have any play in this one. You could make the substitution there and you'd have a y3 minus m3g cosine theta 3 equals zero and then y5 minus m5g cosine 30 degrees equals zero, and that's, that's fine. I, I just know that in this particular problem, it's not gonna help us. I now have these two equations here. I need, I know M3, I know little g. Let's assume it takes place on Earth. Uh, I don't know tension and I don't know theta three, but I have two equations, two unknowns, solve. Uh, well, it's an equilibrium, so I know M3G sine theta 3 equals tension. Yeah. And from this equation, I know tension is equal to M5G sine 30 degrees, so M3G sine theta 3 equals M5G sine 30 degrees. G cancels out. And I'm left with the sine of theta 3 is equal to m5 over m3 sine of 30 degrees. If I add this to both sides, I get a positive there. And if I add that to both sides, that becomes positive. I think I'm missing your question. Why, why did force disappear, or tension? Why did tension disappear in your equation? Uh, I solved for it. If I solve for tension in the first equation, I get M3G sine theta 3 equals tension. If I solve for tension in the second equation, I have tension is equal to this. And then I just substitute it. I have tension equal to these two things, and therefore they must be equal to each other. Transitive property of equality. So 
what is theta 3? Theta 3 will be the arc side of 0.83 of the beam. 56.24? <coughs> yeah. 56.24 degrees? 56.44? Yeah. Acknowledge you can say degrees. There we go. Or Or Questions here? I'm about to make it seem more complicated. I recognize the time. What happened to the amphibia of the amphibia? This right here. I know the sine of 30 degrees is a half. This is 5 thirds. So 5 thirds times a half is 5 sixths, which is 0.83 would be. You just work this out on the calculator. I believe you'll get this. If instead of being this a 30 degree angle, this had been, let's say this was a 50 degree angle. What ultimately changes over here is that becomes 50 degrees. So what would the sine of theta 3 be equal to if this is 50 degrees? times the sine of 50 degrees is? I heard 1 point. 1 point 1.28. 1 1.28. And so when you tried to find theta 3, what would you get? Erica? Arc sine. She doesn't hear it. Arc sine 1. 1.28. Yeah, and what do you get? What is that? All right, so we got an error there. There's a mistake, or, or the problem is impossible. Why? Is there a mistake? Um, maybe. Okay. Probably. Is it probably? Yeah. But it's an error. Unless it's undermined, kind of answer. All right. As before, if you had a negative under the radical, then either the problem cannot happen or there's a mistake somewhere. Here, you get an error. Either there's a mistake somewhere or the problem cannot happen. In this particular case, it cannot happen. What is the largest value a sign can be? One. So we have a sign that's equal to 1.28. Right there, I would expect you to get an error. What that means is that if Theta 3 were 90 degrees, that 5 kilogram mass is still going to be sliding down the ring. It, it would not be, there's not enough in order to balance it out. So next time we'll add some, we'll add friction into it. But I think that is it. Uh, test on Thursday. And Master Jet 3 is due today? Yes. Rejoice throughout the day because you always have this.